Hi guys, welcome to this module on 3D maps in Excel. First of all, this data has been formatted as a table. So basically I've clicked on format as table and selected a color option and that's formatted as a table. Now to use the 3D maps, I need to click on the insert tab and select 3D map. It picks it up, click on tool one. Now because it has identified the city field in my list as a field because 3D maps needs a location so it can map it. So it has found that, so that's great. But sometimes it doesn't find a location. You might have to map that yourself. So there's my field list. Now I can either add it directly from there or I can drag and drop from here. So for example, if I want to add ethnicity, I can just drop it in there and it will build up the ethnicity. There. From category, I've got the same list there. In this example, I'm going to select city, so you see the cities. And then what I want to do now is add the time, which in this case is called date, which will give me a time bar which I can play, which is the whole point of doing this. And now it's building up this chart based on that information. Now, I don't need the field list at the moment, and I don't really need this legend, so I'm just going to delete those off. You have these tools to rotate the chart, the graph itself, and you also have the ability to zoom in to the region that you're looking at. So I'll just zoom in a bit more, and maybe flatten that off a bit. You've got at the top there map labels, which allows you to put the, the cities on. Gone too far, I think. Pull that down a little bit more. Zoom in a bit more. So if I play this now, what, what does it look like? Okay, so I'm going to change these fields. So I'm just delete this one and add city. And then delete this one and add ethnicity. And I get a stacked column graph, if I play that one. Starts building up. And you can see, if I put the legend back on, you can see each one of these colours represents one of these. So there's a graph built up. Now, if you didn't have any dates, you wouldn't get this feature at all. So that's quite an important um, feature. I think that's really good. Different types of ch charts that you can select at the top. If I select that one. Let's have a look at that, how it goes. So maybe I need to zoom in a bit on this first. And just push that up, zoom in again. So if I play that again, builds it up. It's totally to you how you have your data displayed. There's that one, and then you've also got these ones where you can have that sort of information displayed. I'm not quite keen on that one. So the last one that we can use in this example is a heat map. And again, this goes from this scale. I'm not, I'm not liking that. The last option there that you can see is if you're using countries, so it's worldwide. I'm gonna go for this stacked column option. Now I notice it's changed this. While I've been doing that, it's changed this again. So um, let me add ethnicity back. So I'll get that break. So we're back to square one. Now across the top, you have got the ability to play this as a video, have a look at it, and then create a video based on the results if you like it. So if I just play that so you can see it for a minute. So now it's playing away, building up. The whole video is gonna to play to the end over that time period. And when you've finished, you can press escape and come back down into this. Now, if you want to extend that duration, you can change the timings, you can select the speed, come shorter, faster, longer, so on, that's the date range. You can change the effects, you can change the duration of the transition. All these things you can do from there. Now, 
If you add extra data, which I'm going to do now, so I'm going to go into Excel, back into my Excel table and get to the bottom. So let's add another region. Let's add a place called Wibsy. Let's bring our categories down again, just to simulate that. Bring down Wibsy three times, three more times. Type some random stuff in there. And then let's pull the dates down so they're just similar dates. Now if I go back into the 3D map, there's my tour. Need to refresh the data. So there's Wipsy appeared there on the map. If I play that now, you'll see it go through and play. And eventually Wipsy should come on there with the ethnicity for Wipsy over that date period. Eventually it gets there. There's Bingley and there's Wipsy at the end. So that's how I want it. And then I would potentially play that to have a look and then create a video or you can screen capture and put this into a PowerPoint. You've got different scene options so I could create a world map of this or just different map, different themes, that's the colour scales and stuff like that you can select from there. Um, must, must refresh data um, every time it Excel stuff changes you need to click that. There are, this, there are these options as well. You can, for example, type in find location. So if I type in there, for example, Buttershaw, see if it finds it, close that. So it's zoomed into the area of Bradford, Buttershaw. You can see the stack there for Bradford. And then if I just zoom back out, in fact, that was a stack for Wibsy, not Bradford. Just tilt it a bit more because I quite like the tilt. Come out one more step and there you go. So that is a very quick overview of how to use 3D maps in Excel. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you on the next session.